Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is our first ever travel vlog. We are on our way to Sagada Province and we are here at Atok Benguet. Still a long way going to Sagada. Now if you want to cool down from the summer heat, this is uh, uh, Sagada is a place to go. We uh, made a stop here at Ganduyan Restaurant, Atok. Here is the view. It's already cold in here. Later on, we'll give you a tour on Sagada. Here are some of the mountain views. On the way to Sagada, not yet there, but already uh, majestic views of mountains. We're not yet at Sagada, but look at the view, it's already amazing. We can't wait to reach the destination. This is not yet Sagada, I repeat, but the view is already cool. Look at that majestic view of the mountains. And I think that's the Rice Terrace is over there. Uh, I just hope we could stop, but uh, the road is... Uh, there's no uh, space to make a stop. I wish I could have uh, taken a better uh, picture or video of this view. But if we have an opportunity, I'll take a video of this. We made a short comfort room break. We made a stop here at Caltex along the road going to uh, Sagada the, the route we used was uh, via Baguio and the Caltex there's also a uh, a cafe Mountain View Cafe so if you're going to Sagada you might want to uh, make a stop here because from uh, Baguio I've already uh, checked we already consumed uh, uh, about 3 hours on the road and there's still 46 kilometers left before we reach Sagada so if uh, you're traveling via this route you might want to stop in this uh, destination to grab some food or have a short comfort room break and these two uh, statues caught my attention too that's why I chose, uh, I chose this stopover they also have a hope statue in this uh, Galsulin station besides uh, these two statues you can also see this hawk statue and uh, this also caught my eye that's that's why i chose this uh gasoline station as a stopover for a comfort room break and to grab some uh, food to eat at the mountain view so like what i said earlier if you wanna take a comfort room break from uh going to sagada via Baguio route you might want to choose this gasoline station that's an awesome view and i are catching statues We're on the road again, going to Sagada after a break and this is the view, this is the view on the road and it's very sunny right now, let's check the temperature outside It's cold, even though it's sunny so if you want to cool down, uh, I suggest that you go here, it's not yet uh, Sagada, still Atok Road, but it's already cold. Uh, later on, we will see how cold it is at Sagada. So this is one of uh, the list that you should go to if you want to escape the heat in the metropolis. Uh, several turns. Uh, 
and curves on the road okay now it's only 46 kilometers before we reach our destination Sagada the view is getting uh, much more amazing and it's getting cooler and cooler the route we used was via Baguio it's March right now and it's supposed to be summer here in the Philippines but here in in, our, in this road mind you this is not yet uh, Sagada proper but it's already very cold I think it is about 18 degrees centigrade when we reach Sagada we will know how cold it is but uh, they say Sagada is a lot colder than Baguio now this is the road uh, going to Sagada via Baguio now here is the uh, Welcome to Sagada Marker it also says Jesus loves you and this is the road that uh, we used going to Sagada we took the route uh, from Baguio going here it took us about 4 hours to reach the destination and it's very, very ideal to go here in the summer se season to uh, avoid landslide so, uh, look at the side of the road usually this uh, part of the road uh, has landslides when there are uh, uh, heavy rains so it's ideal to go here in this kind of season we finally reached our destination Sagada it took about four hours travel from Baguio going to Sagada. We chose that route uh, so that we could visit two uh, tourist attractions at the same time. Uh, as you can see, this is the welcome, uh, welcome billboard for Sagada with uh, featuring the attractions that you can find there uh, like uh, the falls caves, pottery, and uh, mountaineering. So there are lots of activities you can do once you reach uh, the Hagada. And uh, uh, it is March right now. It is hot, supposedly hot because it's summer. But here, it is, uh, it is cold. Uh, it is even colder than Baguio. Later, uh, we will show you the attractions the destination now this is the place where we would stay Bangaan BNB nice location very clean nice view nice uh, mountain view and then you will see an agricultural land just below the terrace the temperature here is cool you have a clear view of the majestic mountains very green large uh, terrace View of other houses along the area. There is also a, a roof deck. The only downside is uh, there's no elevator. You would uh, certainly take the stairs. A lot of uh, cardio work. But besides that, the place is nice. Highly recommended. They also have a diner here.
later I will show you how the room looks like now here is the view on the uh, comfort room clean uh, private bathroom as well with a heater of course it's needed here because it's a cold place it's a necessity proper ventilation uh, perhaps 8 out of 10 for this rats where you can hang your towels and clothes the flooring toilet are clean trash can to outlets well really based on the room the comfort room cleanliness and the ambience I recommend this place Bangaan BNB now here is Sagada weaving no pictures and videos are allowed inside so I'm just gonna take a video from the outside if you're going to Sagada please don't skip this in your itinerary and uh, they also have this ice cream stand outside you might want to try their avocado and strawberry ice cream and just below there there uh, we cannot take videos or pictures they do the, the actual weaving and they have also in there the Sagada weaving facility some souvenirs for tourists okay after the Sagada weaving after trying the ice cream we will be going to the Hang Cafe we are on our way to the Hang Cafe but before we could enter you, you need to register first here the fee is uh, 100 pesos per, uh, per person and 300 uh, tourist uh, guide fee we are now on our way going to the hanging coffins I don't think it is allowed to take pictures and videos in, uh, inside so we are just going to uh, take a video on the route going there I think we can take a video from the outside but once we enter the facility or the destination to this spot we can no longer take uh, pictures inside by the way the blue trike over there is the main uh, transportation here in uh, Sagada and uh, you can also rent scooters here but most of the tourists do their uh, tour by walking so if you go to Sagada most of the activities here are hiking and trekking this is the entrance going to the hanging coffin so before you enter you need to pay 100 pesos per person first and 300 for the tourist guide you need to register first at your tourist information center so here's a short video the hanging coffins our kind tourist guide allowed us to take videos so if you ever visit Sagada I recommend that you visit this place such a calm, relaxing, and you would also be exercised when you climb up. We've just finished visiting the hanging coffins, and we are still in the process of catching our breath. We need to work out uh, more often and do more cardio. Uh, our kind and nice tourist guide allowed us to take pictures and videos from the site and uh, we have included that in our video and we hope that when you visit Sagada you also visit the hanging coffins not only is it very calming and relaxing it is also a good workout now we're going back to our hotel 
we have just checked out from Bangaan BNB Coffee House. I, I uh, highly recommended uh, stay here in Sagata. Very accommodating, very clean. Now we are on our way to Kiltepan View. Now we are here at Kiltepan Pogo Viewpoint. This is the entrance to the location. It's currently 8.30 a.m. and the temperature is very cold. It's March, supposedly summertime here in the Philippines, but here in Sagada, it is very cold. This is the pathway towards the viewpoint. I'm not quite sure how long this pathway is. And we have a view of the uh, mountains, lots of trees. Just be careful with the pathway, lots of rocks along the way, an even pathway. I think this is muddy during the rainy season. You can also do camping in here. There are tents for rental. So when you visit uh, Sagada make sure to do this in your itinerary not only is Sagada famous for its cool and beautiful scenery but it is also a good place to exercise a lot of uh, activities to enjoy Climbing, trekking, and uh, exploring caves. You just have to be careful with the step. This is uneven. Lots of stones. I think this is slippery. When uh, it's raining, so it's uh, advisable to visit Sagada during this season. I think uh, when nearing the location, uh, there's a vehicle passing. Huh? Now there's a fee when you visit the Keltepan uh, viewpoint, 50 pesos per head, but it is worth it. Look at that awesome view. Look at that. I 
think there's a better view of this one over there so if you want adventure nature exercise all in one Sagada is a place to visit and don't forget to include Keltepan view in your itinerary look at that view such an amazing view just be careful with the steps the road is uneven but the view is amazing Careful with the steps and even road. Now, going down, I think there's a better view of this one over there. Just don't forget to be careful when you descend. Watch your step. This might be slippery. There is still a long way to go. I think there's a better view of this. Down there, kind of dusty. I think seniors would have difficulty going down here because of this uneven pathway. early in the morning the sun is shining but still it is cold out here wow look at a view Awesome view of the mountains. They say uh, it's great to visit here very early in the morning before sunrise, but nevertheless, visiting this during 8 a.m. onwards is still amazing this will take up a lot of cardio work so if one knows of view venture and exercise hold into one I hope to visit this place Okay, we're now going back to the top and visit other tourist spots. Now before we go to another destination, I descended once again and found out 
that there is a better view out here at Kilpetan view look at the how amazing the view is they say it's better to be here during sunrise or early in the morning but nevertheless even though it's already almost 9 a.m still like an amazing view out here very cool majestic view of the mountain for 50 pesos 50 pesos per head it's really worth it so please do include the Kilipetan view in your itinerary when you visit Sagada Our next destination is Sagada Pottery. So if you like handicrafts such as these items, this is a place to visit here in Sagada. Here are the contact details if you're interested with the handicrafts and pottery made here in Sagada. Okay. Just be careful with your steps. as an alternative livelihood. Kung sinasabi natin may potential ang ating local material, hindi po yung ibig sabihin niya na pwede kang kumuha kahit saan yung gusto and then the view dito pwede na siyang maging pot. Around Sagada, mag-stop muna kami na pagkukuhan ng anything na hindi kami nakakasaya sa environment at walang magagalit sa amin. Kung may nakita pa kayong maganda, we haul the clay, bring them here, Soak them in water for a few weeks. Sasalain namin ng dalawang beses hanggang makuha namin ang consistency of finest na katulad nito. Pagkatapos po ng pagsala, very very watery siya. Kailangan pa po namin siyang i-drip dry for 3 to 4 months. We age it for at least 3 weeks before na pwede namin siyang gamitin. So may tatong klase po ang pottery. May earthenware, stoneware, at saka porcelain. Earthenware, sir, low fire. Yung po yung ginagawin dun sa vegan, yung mga paso, yung mga lutuan po. Ang stoneware at saka porcelain, they're both high-fired. We specialize on stoneware, may reach namin ang temperature na 2,350 degrees Fahrenheit. Ngayon, ipapakita ko po ang paggawa ng pot sa inyo with a demo fee of 200 for the group. Tapos kung may gusto mo, try 100 per. Okay, First of all, center ko lang po muna ang clay. <coughs> Centering the clay with pressure from my both hands, and I have to go with the speed of the wheel. Bago tayo makagawa ng any kind of shape na gusto natin, may it be a vase, a bowl, or a mug, we have to do the cylinder first, for that's the basic shape. Kung paano natin gagawin ang cylinder na yun, bubutasan natin dito sa gitna. Palalawakin natin yan by slowly pulling the clay towards the side. 
at this point with controlled pressure from my both hands I'm going to compress the clay together and then dahan dahan ko siya iangat sa taas one more time kamay ko po ang magko-control sa clay hindi po ang clay ang nagko-control sa kamay at kung inaangat natin to kailangan natin siyang dinadahan dahan hindi natin siya binibigla para hindi siya ma-off center at hindi mag-collapse. Ito na po ang cylinder natin. Ito pwede na itong maging hot. But we are going to reshape this for us to see how far the clay goes. So ang gagawin ko, here at the very bottom, I'm going to slowly push it outwards while pushing and pulling my hands up. I'm supporting my left hand with my right hand outside. Here in the middle, I'm going to push it inwards, slowly pulling it up, and then pushing it outwards at the top para makagawa tayo ng flower bags. Ito pwede pa po natin siyang palitin ng konti dito sa pinakagitna by slowly pushing it in while pulling the clay up to the top. At kung gusto naman natin itong maging water container, <coughs> lalagyan lang po natin ng gusto na So, ang ginagawa namin dito, i-air dry namin siya for 5 days. After 5 days of air drying, kapag leather dry na po siya, we come back, we trim the bottom, and we put a handle on it. That's the time din na maglagay kami ng any kind of decorations that we want to enhance the beauty. And then, i-air dry namin ulit for a month. Kinuluto namin sa oven for 8 hours of firing. Maghintay kami pa mag-cool down yung oven, we come back, bring out the pieces, then we apply the glazes. Yung glazes po yung po nagbibigay kulay at pintaw sa kanya, pero hindi po siya kagaya ng pintura na pinahid mo lang makikita na agad ang result. We have to cook them again to a certain temperature bago lalabas ang kagandahan ng each piece. They are very good for food containers, they're microwavable, and of course, the color doesn't fade. Sino po ang gusto mo try? Meron po ba? Wala? Okay, kung wala pong mag-try, of course, you're very much welcome to look around. Check it. These are half all of the parts. We also have plates, bowls. We've just finished visiting Sagada Pottery. Now if you want to view how the pots are made, there's just a 200 fee, 200 pesos fee per group. And uh, earlier we showed you how you, the pots are made. Now we are on our way to Wow Cafe. They told us that there's an awesome view in there and the food there is amazing. We are here at Wow Cafe 
isang wow cafe by the clouds here at Sagad they have an awesome view here the dining area has an awesome view on the majestic mountains We just finished eating at Isang Wow Cafe by the Clouds. Uh, I recommend the chicken mushroom and their coffee arabica. They also have a good view of the majestic mountains. And the price is reasonable. Stop here because of the view in the food. Now we will look for lemon cake. They say that the trip to Sagada isn't complete without buying that. That is their trademark uh, food. So we will find uh, a location that sells one. We are here now at the source of the lemon cake here in Sagada. The line is quite long. Many tourists flock here to buy the cake. This is the signature uh, cuisine of Sagada. One of my companions is now uh, checking it out. If you happen to visit Sagada, just make sure to buy uh, a lemon cake as pasalubo. So this is the shirt that I uh, bought from the souvenir shop. This is worth 250 pesos double XL now we are on our way back to Manila we will be passing by Baguio again there are several destinations that we haven't uh, visited yet here in Sagada because of limited time we, we visited Sagada for only three days we can get away and uh, we haven't uh, visited the caves, falls and other tourist spots and we plan to do so when we return and we will have another separate travel vlog for that if you enjoyed this content please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks again for watching